ambiguous in here for now. I don't really want to have to come back and put a lot of work into that, so I'm trying to just... It's not totally cooperating, but... So how much cabos hill do you, you estimate so you're going to put in there? if we do um, wet micro, which is more spreadable and more mm -hmm. for bonding foam together and not for finish work, that's typically one part of resin. I mean, you just eyeball it. So if you're looking at the level of the cup, whatever level the resin's at, that's one part. And then two parts of micro. And for dry micro, it's usually one part of resin to three parts of micro. Mm -hmm. And what we do with the cabasil is replace one part of the micro volume. So for dry micro, we have four parts. We have one part resin, one part cabasil, and two parts micro. And then for wet micro, we have three parts, which is one part micro to one part cabasil, and then one part resin. Okay. And then kind of the same uh, for flox, it's about a 50-50 mix of cabasil and flox. And the rule with using cabasil is that you always put the cabasil in first and mix the cabasil in thoroughly, and then add your micro or flox. You don't put the you don't want to put the micro and cabasil in at the same time and then mix it. Why was, was that? Um, it's not going to mix it consistently because basically the flocks and the micro are fillers and the cabasil is a thickening agent. So what we're doing with the cabasil is making thicker resin and then adding the filler to the thick resin. So you don't want to... Um, you don't want to do, you want to get your resin to the thicker point and the smoother point and then add your other stuff oh, into it. So and right here, most of this, we have to fill on the back half here to correct the surface contour a little mm -hmm. bit. But for the most part, all we're doing is filling the weave, which means that the glass itself is already high enough and all we need to do is fill the little the little divots in the weave where the fibers overlap so you know we don't need to build up any surface at all mm -hmm. so we're just putting the tiniest bit on the front here and we're going to feather that in so you like this on the surface, that's an eighth right? of an inch thick right there yeah. i don't want to work through all that later so we're gonna, you know, we're, we're trying to apply the micro in a way where we're already happy with the general shape of things by the time we're done putting it on. And then all we're gonna do is perfect that surface texture later and sand out the imperfections of what we've already done. What we don't wanna, sorry, what we don't wanna do is just build this up so thick and make this big blanket of material along here. Mm -hmm. And then we don't have a good surface or an accurate surface to start working with or a good point of reference. Right. And then it takes a lot of work because we have a lot of material to knock down before we can even see well, where we think we want to be, you know? So if you do good core work and good glass work, you're usually at a point where a lot of the surface shape is already where you want to be at mm -hmm. and call that good and just use the micro like this to transition yourself into a point where you're you have a surface that's nice enough to get paint on so then you just uh, sand it down to where and you can see the weave yeah yeah and you just you sand to where the leaves of, uh, weaves, weaves starting to show through west. in this case i'm not even going to resin wipe it because this is not a fun area to work in Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we're just going to get it smooth and then use the high build primer to fill the rest and if after primer anything ugly still stands out then we'll use a uh, spot fill with Bondo or glazing putty or something that's really light and thin. Mm -hmm. But if this was a surface that you wanted nice, then you would go with, right. the, with the wet system do, right. do this, five this, wet this coats. Is, right. So if it's like a, a big surface area, that's where you focus more on doing the, 
doing the um, resin wiping mm -hmm. and skin coating. So we've got a little bit more to go there. Mix up one more shot, take care of that so we don't have a big, big ugly to sand on. Cool, thanks Chris. Later.